Hey, goodbye to you here from Gillette Stadium where the Patriots are heading into their annual bye week. Andrew Callahan, Karen Gregan from the Boston Herald. The Patriots just wrapped up their one practice this week before they head into a four-day break. But, you know, of course, part of the story here is still they just took their first loss of the season. So to wrap up quickly with the 37-20 to 20 final in Baltimore, what sticks with you all these days later after that loss? Well, I think obviously it was a bad matchup for the Patriots, and it's a matchup they might see uh, down the road in, in the playoffs. Uh, the Ravens posed a big challenge to them they, with a mobile quarterback, a running quarterback, a superhuman <laughs> running quarterback, and a running game. And the Patriots' defense just didn't uh, come up to the challenge. They had trouble. They've had trouble during the year stopping uh, running games. But uh, Lamar Jackson and Mark Ingram, they just didn't do a, a good enough job. And the Ravens were on the field for these long, long, long extended drives. They couldn't get off the field on third down and fourth down. And uh, it, it cost them dearly. Players describe those breakdowns as fundamental, so things that not necessarily pertain to the Ravens' scheme, mm -hmm. though obviously they had a good game plan, 17 nothing lead early mm -hmm. in the second quarter, but things that they can tidy up in practice, whether it's tackling or getting rid of blocks or taking the proper angles, mm -hmm. which surely were things they were working on today. We just mentioned they finished their first practice, and we'll mm -hmm. work on when they come back Monday for another session. Yeah, I got the same sense uh, talking with uh, several key defenders in the, in the Patriots' defense that they're confident uh, going forward that uh, it was a one game thing, a one matchup thing with the Ravens, and they will show people they're they are still one of the best defenses in the NFL. And their next chance for that comes up on November 17th. They're going to be at Philadelphia. Another tough game. Eagles are 5-4, and four, just rebounded from a sub-500 start to their season. Good wins against Buffalo and then Chicago, both teams with good defenses. But, you know, they have a bye as well. It's early, but is there anything, at least considering this last game in practice, you'll be looking for down in Philly once we reconvene? Well, I'm going to be interesting, interested to see how much teams going forward, starting with the Eagles, uh, are they going to be copycats? Are they going to attack the Patriots' defense uh, with their, you know, are they going to go run first? I, I mean, they have Carson Wentz. They have a, a great uh, aerial attack as well. But our team's going to really try and see if they can just run it down the Patriots' throats going forward. All right, one last note. Ben Watson and Patrick Chung were the only Patriots missing from practice today, but we did see Chung in the locker room. And, of course, it'll mean much more if they miss practice next week. But in the meantime, plenty of R&R &R for them and for you and I. So for Karen, I'm Andrew. We will see you next week.